Leaders are talking ways to spend your money. As a vote on the new fiscal year budget inches closer, city council members are looking for the best ways to spend your tax dollars. WAFF 48's Matthew King is live in Decatur tonight. Matthew, what do they have their eyes on? Yeah, well, the biggest points of conversation tonight revolved around local organizations receiving some money from the city, as well as the new uh, pay plan job classification for city employees. Money talks are on the minds of Decatur leaders and residents. We all live in survival mode, all of us, every single day. And vying for more money is Sue Terrell with Hands Across Decatur. The local organization advocates for the booming homeless population in the River City. She says the organization has already served over 6,000 homeless in 2023 and they need more funding to keep up. By the grace of God, most of us have a home, family, source of income, food, and health insurance. The ability to afford life-saving medication. What if you didn't? The room was tense between one resident and Mayor Tab Bowling. You're as one, yes, I am. Yes, I am. As one, as one of your sworn and. As she advocated for additional funding for Hands Across Decatur by quoting the Bible. The right thing to do is to keep the supreme law of Scripture. You will love your neighbor as yourself. But as soon as you start making class distinctions, you are committing sin and under condemnation for breaking the law. Also on the agenda, a new plan to meet the cost of living adjustment for city employees. The council approved the personnel's board decision to add a 3% adjustment to job classifications and payment plans to keep up with the times. Councilman Billy Jackson was the only member to vote against this plan, saying the city should pay employees more than 3%. I would rather see us and, and again, I think that our employees deserve a 5% or 6%. I don't know if that's feasible at this particular point because I do, I've been here, as I've said before, and you guys have heard me say, I've been here when we had to lay people off. Now, though that plan was approved in a four to one vote, it doesn't become official unless it's implemented as a part of that fiscal year budget voted on in the next month. Reporting live in Decatur, Matthew King, 48 on your side.